Well, what's the action? Myself and Milan are on the hunt for another land based spot. We're on another one of Milan's harebrained. Actually, no, I shouldn't say harebrained Good ideas. ideas. Good ideas. <laughs> only flying 30 knots. That's the only bad idea. Milan's been back on Google Earth and he's picked out a ledge that from Google Earth looks awesome, but you know what happened last time he said that, and he's also found the car park which we're trying to find right now. And once we find the car park, then hopefully we can get to this ledge, load up all the gear. Milan's got yet another massive bag of burley to carry. And NATO's gonna do his best to film it. So uh yeah, here we go. That hat is too wild. <laughs> It's just Can fully it blow blown out. What your footage like? Can you get it really good? Check out that hat. No, yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's not blown out now. It's nice, man. You don't want me to wear it? Oh. Look at the color of it. It might be a little bit wild, even it's, for it's me. It's white, but it looks like it's got a little bit of pink in it, <laughs> depending on which way you look at it. It's a stunner. I can see it being like a completely blown out moon in all of my footage, man. I'll get another one. <laughs> You got another one? <laughs> yeah, this one. Jaguar. Better? Yeah, I can do that one. Yeah, I like that one. Are you ready yet? <laughs> Getting there. You don't have to carry the burly. <laughs> yeah, I should keep quiet, eh? As I might end up with the burly on my back. Okay, I'm ready. Can't forget the jacket of life. The jacket of life. <laughs> we should change the name, eh? <laughs> Gotta have a different name for everything. Yeah. <laughs> much better hat than your first pick. You reckon? Yeah. I like my first pick. Well, if you're a cameraman, you don't like your first pick. If you're a first, if I was allowed to wear the first pick, I'd be wearing the first pick. <laughs> you're allowed to wear whatever you want. I don't want to wreck the footage, bro. Don't want to wreck the footage. <sighs> What's the problem? I forgot my sunglasses. Oh, you're kidding. It's oh, okay. <laughs> only five minutes back. I'd rather go back five minutes and have some burnt eyes. <laughs> yeah, fair go. I'm back. You're back. <laughs> How's that for a ledge, brother? Good to know there's a big piece of structure right in front, but check it out, it's just awesome. Oh, you can actually see the rock right off the yeah, point there. Yeah. It's gonna be a fast one going down. Woo, she's a windy one. Only when that dust comes through, away. Eh? Good the rest of the time. The dogfight is back in action. Out she comes <laughs> for another round. <laughs> That's how you see the drag, kids. You can't pull one off the reel, it's all good. <laughs> Just so it moves. <laughs> you don't get dragged in. First up is a stick bait. Yeah, I'll just have a couple of casts. Just because there's so much car and belting around that corner right there, it almost looks like a bit of a drop off. A couple of rocks coming up, a couple of bombies before I get into my kawai hunting action. Just about getting blown off the rock. It's cold and windy. Should be blowing 20, 25 knots. Not the best conditions, but it's flat and it gives us a place to fish, it's safe. So uh, we wanted to go, so we went. And other than a little bit of wind, up that way you get the wind behind your cast, you get the mean cast. What are you doing now? I'm going to set up a sluggo. Sluggo time? Sluggo time. Stick bait didn't work? Well, stick baits are good, but sluggos. <laughs> There's a kingy round that's going to eat a sluggo, man. Catch a car, one, put a livey out. Catch a car, one, put a livey out. Yep. Oh, first fish for the day. What do you got? I think I got a snapper. It's a snapper. Prefer it to be a big kawai. No, come on. Catch me a big snapper, man. Nice snapper, bro. Nice Is snapper. it? Yeah. 
Lucky for him, we're not going home today. I'm actually hoping there's a heap of them in the burley trail. It's cold and it'll keep me active. There you go. Off you go. The big cow I just got spotted in the burley trail. Milan's in total panic. <laughs> I want him bad. Want him bad. Nice big slender one. He can go down the belly nice and easy. It looks so good for kingfish. I'm pretty sure something's going to come and have a look. I don't know about that. I'm off the line, mate. No! Damn it! I kind of get the feeling that today just isn't our day. Not only has the tide come in and ruined the rock that we wanted to fish, but now it's too windy to fish the next rock we wanted to fish, so we've ended up getting pushed around the corner to try and get out of the wind, get out of the swell, but now the wind's in our face and what swell and wind there is is just... Pfft, in the face! You know what I mean? But Milan's out there like a trooper. Well that's it, the boys are admitting defeat. Milan's fished his tail off for one snapper and one live bait so we're going to go back, sort ourselves out a campsite and dream of bigger and better things tomorrow. There's that hat again. A little bit burnt. I don't mind food burnt a little bit. Thank you, Milan. It's gonna be cold on the rocks today. It's gonna be cold on the rocks today. <laughs> cold and windy. <laughs> it is absolutely howling out there. What's the plan for today? Go climb on the rock and give it another go when the rain stops. <laughs> Just got to get out of bed, I think. <sighs> yeah, it is that time of the day. Easy. Half an hour walk, a little traverse down the rocks, and we will be ready for day number two. <laughs> oh, dude, you should see what it looks like on my phone. <laughs> It'll look beautiful. <laughs> it's full on. <laughs> It has like a white ring around it. It almost looks like it's got batteries in it, man. It does, man. It's a psychedelic mushroom hat. Psychedelic mushroom hat. It looks like a psychedelic mushroom if you put it on the ground. Nearly there. Did I tell you that we're going back to a spot that Milan lost three kingfish in one day? <laughs> Although, in his defense, he did pull the hook on all three. He didn't get busted off or reefed, so... Nato's doesn't really have the ammo to give him too much grief, but that won't stop me trying, right? Should have got out of the tent a lot earlier than I did. <laughs> <laughs> too much of a... I won't say that word. Too much of a pansy being cold in the tent. I think Milan was right when he said that we should have got out of bed an hour earlier. Now that we're here, it is just awesome. But this morning in the tent, it was just like howling wind. The odd shower of rain coming through, but it's all worth it. Milan's rigging up. Everything looks good. The water is crystal clear. And historically, we've always had good kingy fishing in clean water. So fingers crossed, today is no different. So I try to set my gear up mostly when I get on the rocks before I get too excited because then I can't do anything. Spin set with a single hook for catching kawai. If you don't have a sluggo in the box, you're a crazy fisherman because sluggos for some reason entice kingfish to eat. Live bank rig, ready to go. Got rid of my balloons, got my inline float rig. 
I got my 100 pound with a bait. I brought a heap of pillies today, so if a kingy turns up, doesn't want to eat a live bait, or I don't have a live bait, I can chuck a whole pilly at it. And I got a stick bait. My phone doesn't do it justice, but the water is just so clean today. Cool, Mr. Tote. Everything is perfect except for the fact that Milan can't catch a carpipe for a live bait. We do have a blue Mau Mau out just in case. And there's some real good snapper. Ooh, is that a snapper? No, nah, Mau Mau. There's some real good snapper sitting down underneath the burly bag, so Milan is already on dinner duties. The taupe action though, if you wanted to catch a taupe shark today, then, uh, you know, if you're into eating taupe, there's plenty of those around. I think there's like two, maybe three of them. At least two, I've seen two at once, so. At least two, but they're hanging around the burly. Milan's trying to keep the burly bag out of their mouth. I'm down there with the GoPro trying to get shots. Keeping the boys occupied whilst waiting for a kingfish. Does he eat it? Oh, he did eat it. <laughs> nice. Dinner's just about ready. Nice work, Marlon. <laughs> Finally got a snapper <laughs> worthy of actually showing you. There might be a few more down there. Maybe it might go from a kingfish day to a snapper day. Hey. Oh, it is a kawai. Awesome. First kawai spotted for the day. Five seconds later, it's hooked up. Mm. Kahawai. It's a kahawai, Nato. A kahawai. Kahawai, Kahawai. If I say it a million times, do you reckon I'll break the habit of calling it a Kahawai? Yeah. I'm a lot happier in the knowledge that there is a Kahawai now and there is a live bait. Swimming. Woo! Woo! Hard work, but done. <laughs> oh. Bring on the kingies. What's that shark oh, trying to eat? Let it go, you bugger. Well, we can use it for snapper bait. Yeah, I want the Kahawai. <laughs> He won't let it go! <laughs> oh, and he got the car away! Oh, dude! You go through all that, catch a car away, two hours of fishing, and then the sharks just destroy it. I think the next car away goes in the live bait tank. There's a rock pool just up behind us. Leave it there in the hopes that we can see a kingfish first and then throw the live bait at the kingfish. But having a live bait in the water today isn't going to work, so Milan's back on snapper duties. Quick, get it up before the taupe see it. Oh, you're lucky on that one. Good snapper, Nathan. It is a real good snapper, isn't it? I might have to put my phone down and catch one. That's what I think I love about fishing. You come out with expectations to catch kingies. And now I think it's going to be a snapper fishing day. Every snapper bait you chuck out there, good solid snapper one after the other. What's going on? Kingfish just turned up in the belly. Woohoo, finally. Shit, it's a big fish. It's a, he ate it. Did he eat it? He ate it. Yep. Strike him. He's let it go. Oh. He didn't already let it go. God, that's a big fish, Marlon. Yeah, I know. Oh, is he going to eat it? Come on, fish. Come on, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, he ate it! Strike him! Wow! <laughs> that is a good fish, man! <laughs> Come on, Marlon! Woohoohoo! That is a ripper! Oh, dude, you get this one! <laughs> I can't believe he ate it the second time! How heavy is that gear? 80 pound. 80 pound? Oh, you got a good chance, man! Good chance. Real good chance. That wind's come up. Oh yeah, I didn't think it was gonna happen for us. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Better position, NATO. Better position. Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 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 that is a solid kingy, man. Oh, that is awesome. Nothing much has happened for like two or three hours and then out of nowhere, Milan's squawking about a big kingfish. And when I seen it the first time, I was like, holy crap, he wasn't joking. 
Oh. Good one, bro. <laughs> That's a real good one, man. I can't even stand up. I even no, I wouldn't. Stand don't up. stand up. You'll be off the rock. Oh. That's a nice fish. Oh, please get this one. The squat down. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's windy. Watch out, you just spat on the rock. Oh, Mylon might have gone and done it. I think he's got him beat. Oh, it's a solid fish, man. <laughs> oh, dude. Dude, dude, dude. That's a... <laughs> oh, nice work, man. That is sick. That is such a good fish. What do you want me to do? I want you to hold my right as per normal. Yeah, can you just drop the drag off of it, though? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> he ate that billy twice, man! I thought there was no way he was going to come back after he ate it the first time and spat it out. Oh, dude. Nato's holding the rod again. Nice fish, Milan. Oh, those southerly winds, but we just wanted to come up and try this ledge again. And yesterday was just nothing. And today's been nothing. And when one fish turned up, put a pilly in front of him, ate it, didn't get the bar arm over quick enough, lost him came back and ate it again I just couldn't believe it they never do it but they did today 30 knots southerlies put the winter time in got the big winter king um, I'll, I'll take the hook out I want photos yeah and then we'll if I get them up and I don't drop them in we'll get photos okay okay Ooh, we're gonna better get a photo before he drops it oh no oh, no oh. <laughs> oh, I really wanted a photo. I really wanted a photo of that fish. I was just about to say to NATO, we're going to pull the pin, the wind's come up. It's shocking. And then the big kingy turns up. Oh. You would have seen over the last couple of days or over the last few years that we pump mean burly trails. And the only reason we pump burly trails is to get bait fish in front of us. You'll never see me far from my burly trail. I'm always there. I'm watching the snapper, the mau mau, the sweep, the piper, how they're moving in the water. A kingfish has got a lateral line. So it comes down the coast, feels all that bait fish, comes in for a look, and now it's here. We've got a sluggo, we've got a stick bait, we've got a live bait, and we've got a pilchard all ready for that kingfish when it turns up. If it's not interested in a live bait, we've got different things to throw at it. You know it's there, so you've got a really good chance of catching it. Today, we didn't have a live bait, we had a pilchard, chucked it in there, and he ate it, and we got the fish. At the end of the day, you go fishing for the rewards and the adventure. Today, we got our shot at one fish, and we got that fish.